get started. Um, just to let everyone know, I signed up to be a saint artist, um, a makeup artist. It's formerly known as mascara. And so, um, I was just going to hop on and tell you guys a little bit about it. And then I'll probably be doing some um, live, some tutorials. And I would love to have a few people um, volunteer to let me um, try my makeup skills out on you. Um, but I was going to let you know, this is the stuff that I got in my kit. I signed up to be an artist last Friday. They had a great incentive. Um, I've been thinking about it, praying about it for probably about six, six months or so. And it's a 3D foundation. And it is great for mature skin, which unfortunately, I'm kind of getting into that category now. And so, um, I have the pores and the lines. And it's a cream-based 3D foundation that doesn't really sit in anything. And so, it just kind of takes on a second skin. And so, um... I'm just going to kind of show you what I got in my box, and then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, again, it's called Saint. If you, you may have heard of it before as a, a mascara beauty, but um, you, it comes with uh, like a little box my artist kit did. And it's got 18, I think 18 colors in it, and the colors, some of them look really crazy, but they come with little tins. And so, my box of little tins here, if you can see. And then here's the colors. And like, this is crazy, right? It, it's, a, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's like a, a, a orange, but it's great for color correcting. Um, it can hide um, age spots. I put it on my pores here and it'll help minimize my pores because sometimes I know a lot of people think the darker it is, it would look worse. But if you'll go over it with some dark, it'll minimize them and, and, and you really can't see them, you know, that bad. So, I get all my little colors here. It comes with a few blushes, um, and with it being a 3D foundation, it comes with the, the contour colors, your main highlight, and then your lightening um, shade, which is probably what we used to call as a highlighter. So, um, also brushes. I got two brushes that come with my kit. I've already used it, and it was so pretty and white, but not anymore because I've been using my colors. I used it today. Um, and then here's the other brush that mine come with. But I have a couple others, and they're double-ended, and they're great prices as it is, and they're amazing. Even if you didn't use this makeup, it would be worth just getting the brushes because, let me tell you something, they are just top quality. Some of them are a little more dense. Like, this is a, a blush and bronzer um, brush. And so, I mean, it just, it just swirls on your makeup so good. This one's dense. And this one's a little more fluffy. This one's great. It's called a... Um, a detail brush for your highlight and your contour and it fits right in the just the perfect areas but I use my, this for my whole face it's got a smaller area you can use for your eyeshadow or for um if you have any trouble areas that you want to work on or in your highlight and then it comes with some compacts too this one doesn't have anything in it but it's got the it's really pretty it says saying on it I don't know if I can get it to with it blinding you but little magnetic compacts. I don't have anything in this one yet. And it also comes with a mirror as well. But these are my compacts that I have now. Hey! Hey everyone! I got my Crocs on, Sonia. <laughs> Actually, I just got in from a ball game. We went to a basketball game, the Boaz one, to see my son's girlfriend. And I just got home and we had a Zoom call and they were like, we're, we just want you to get on and show really what you got. Tell everybody what you're doing. You're going to just jump in there and do it because I've been putting it off because I've been like, oh, I don't want to get on there and, and make a fool out of myself, but I do it every day. So what's different, right? Um, so here is, is my compact that I have now because I've been, do, I've been using this makeup for a while, but like this is some of my blush colors. They're called lip and cheeks, and, and you can use them on your lip cheeks. Some people use them on their eyes, but um, they're satin or they're gloss, and I'm telling you, they're pigmented, and they're great, and they're beautiful, and some of them super scary. Like, this is the one right here, which I've had this makeup on all day. This is Ruby. I got it in my kit, and I know it um, It doesn't look like it the same because the colors are so scary, but um, they blend out, and they're so forgiving. So, if you mess something up, you just go right over it with a brush, and it'll just erase it. And then here's another one of mine. This is my bronzers that it comes with. And this is actually a, a highlight shade, what they call, um, what we call foundation. They call highlight. 
And so this is actually a highlight shade. I guess for darker skin, it would work good. It's got a little bit of a glow to it. It's called Icon and it's great bronzer. So I use it as a bronzer. Um, and then here's one that's called Cinnamon and it would be more for your darker skin, but um, you can use it as a bronzer too. So I'll stick it with my bronzers. And then here's some of my, my highlighters. And this one right here is my favorite as you can tell. And it's a perfume. So I even put it behind my ear sometimes, but you can put it on, you know, your pressure points or, um, you know, the bridge of your nose, uh, um, your cupid's bow, your cheekbones. And what I like about the cream highlighters is with mature skin, it doesn't look, um, it doesn't look crazy scary, which you can always go in and, uh, you know, we have, they have the um, powder eliminators too. Um, and I'll be, I use them as well, but I'm learning that I'm having to adjust a little bit more with my skin. If you have flawless skin, this makeup would just blend and just be gorgeous on you, but you could probably wear anything you wanted to at any time or no makeup. But for a lot of people that want a little bit of coverage, you can go as much as coverage as you want or as little. And then, um, it's up to you on how much you want sometimes. And I have freckles and I have, um, you can't see them as much, but I have the age spots now that's probably the last couple of years being, you know, coming on and uh, unfortunately, but um, so sometimes if I don't want to put on a lot of makeup, I'll just get a bronzer and just kind of swirl it around my face and maybe some lipstick and or some lip gloss and a little bit of mascara because I need something and I have no eyebrows. These are painted on, so, and I always have to have eyebrows. Um, and then here is also, this is my contours. See that? And these are crazy, right? You think, um, I haven't used this one yet. This one came in my kit. I've swatched it, as you can tell. But this is the main one that I use um, all the time. And I'll tell you another thing, too. This tin is almost empty, but you can't tell because you can melt, melt them down. So when you get where you're hitting pan and, and it's around the edges and stuff, you can throw a hair dryer on it, set it on your, um, your flat iron, and it just melts it all back out, and you're good to go. You can just get every bit of that product out. That way you save money. And the tins are very affordable. They're like, um, I think $14 each. The um, eyeshadows, which I've got some coming. The eyeshadows are, I think, 12. But um, they'll last like two to three months, depending on what you use. And like you can see, this is the crazy one I showed you while ago, the mango. I use it all the time as a color corrector. And sometimes I can use it over my face. Because out of all these crazy colors, I can use the majority here because they just blend in and um you can put your contour where you need it you can put a lighter color if you if you think that's a little too dark you just kind of go over it with another color but really you can just start your kit with probably a couple of highlight shades a contour and you're good to go that's really all you need um i would suggest a blush and probably a bronzer but you don't even have to do that. And to be honest, um, if you just wanted the eyeshadows, you could do that as well. If you just wanted the brushes, they have an amazing cleaner that um, cleans your brushes like crazy. I'll probably do a video on that one day because it's insane, the stuff that they do. And they also use the European standard. So we've had some, I've been looking at um, the ingredients for a lot of the high-end makeup that I've used because I'm a makeup junkie. Um, I've been trying to get rid of all of it because I love this product is like the best. And so, look at Lindsay. You think I'm cute. Lindsay, I'm glad y'all got Maverick out of the car. <laughs> it was a debacle at the game. Poor Maverick apparently got locked in the car by his uh, older brother. And so, it's been a fiasco with them trying to get him out, place his bones. But he's all good now. And it wasn't 900 degrees, so they were fine. Um, and then also, look at this sponge. So it's dirty because I use it today, but um, the sponge that it comes with, I know a lot of people use makeup sponges and I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it's never like this one. But this truly is an amazing sponge. Like when you touch it, it's so bouncy and it's crazy because when you put it under water, if people use makeup sponge, they'll know what I'm talking about. But sometimes you'll put it under water and it takes forever to get the water just all saturated and then squeeze it out. It feels like a big blob of just a wet cotton ball. Not gross, but borderline. Because you're like, ugh, it feels like it just fall apart. And then you squeeze it. I usually um, squeeze it out in like a towel or something for excess or a paper towel if I've got one handy. But, um, and then it just, you just bounce it all over your face and it just feels so good. And it really, um, it absorbs any excess makeup that you have. I always go over my makeup. I've always done that with any of it because sometimes, here we are. 
put a little bit too much on, but I always go over when I get through with my powder and my final steps just to pick up any excess. But this is a game changer. This is probably, even if you, like I said, you didn't want the makeup, you may want some of the other stuff. And I'm in the process of getting trained so that I can look at some photos or if you want, I can even come and um, come to your house. You can come to my house and I can do some color matches, but you know, I'm just kind of new here, but I love it. And to be honest, I can use so many colors here that it's really, um, I'm not going to say it's, it's hard to get a bad color because it's really not, but um, it is very easy to uh, to use multiple colors, multiple shades. They all work. Like I could use probably three or four different shades. So, um, it's, I mean, it's kind of easy to match everyone too, but um, I'll be trained in that. So, that's really it, guys. Just wanted you guys to uh, know that I was going to be selling it and I'll be doing some lives and uploading some videos and I'll probably get on Instagram and try to do that too. But in the meantime, if you got any questions, just hit me up. Um, you know, you can shoot me a message or, um, even comment on here. I'd love to try to do some color matches on you guys, or like I said, just do some makeovers and see, you know, just get them some experience too and get the word out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.